As a man who played so many times for a club, what are the challenges with then going back to a club as a manager, like you did at Barcelona? Well, well good morning. Um, so really, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Of course, when when a young manager like uh, Solskjaer had this chance, it's because he's, he's able to do that. The club decide uh, can do it. And what happened in my in my case, we were quite similar. We were young and gave that opportunity. Try to do our best. Of course, different jobs. So, so we cannot compare a football player be, uh, as a manager. And I wish him all the best. Did the fans at Barcelona? give you anything extra special when you went back there because of your relationship you already had? Maybe extra time, extra support? Well, the, the fact that I was there uh, since 13 years old, you know the club, yeah, that is an, an advantage, yeah, for sure. So knowing the people, know how it works, everything there, it's important, yeah, yeah. So, something the positive uh, gives you the fact that you were there in the past and you know many, many things of the club. And just finally from me, Jürgen Klopp has said this week that he can't see any weaknesses in your Manchester City side. I know you're a perfectionist. Do you believe you have any weaknesses? Yeah, of course, any team, any team has strong points and weak points so of course we have weaknesses and we're working on it so of course we have so but that's normal yeah but you know this kind of comment so i put in the perspective that uh, must be Pep, simon stone bbc um obviously it's a hectic period with all the games in particular what will you do between playing tomorrow and then playing on Boxing Day with an away game? How will you approach that? And will you train on Boxing Day? Uh, will you train on Christmas Day? How how will you do that? No, we're going to adapt to the calendar. So the previous years we play sometimes 26 or 28, 28 or 30. Just two days. This this time is not the case. We play three or four days between the games. So we're probably going to play in 25 in the afternoon before we travel to Leicester. Yeah, the schedule is what it is. So we're going to train uh, tomorrow game and after regeneration, train again. And before the game, we're going to train. We have to. But do you do anything different on Christmas Day? Or is it just like for a footballer, just a normal a normal day? Or do you try no, to structure it differently? Normally, we train at 3 or 4. Maybe we're going to train on 5. We're going to, to train later, you know, to stay one more hour or two more hours. The people at home. But we are going to do the same. So before the one official game, we have to train. And that's what we're going to do. So the players know they are in, in England. Now in Germany, in most of the countries, stop the league after this weekend. Here we have to play. We're going to play. And if we play 27, we would have played 27. So 25 would have been day off. And 26 training and play 27. We play 26, 25 we have to train. That's normal. Hi, Pep. Andy Hampson, Press Association. How is David Silva now? Is he close to returning yet? Well, I start to training, yeah. You have the first steps, but still is not ready for tomorrow. Uh, did you expect him back over the Christmas period or something? Well? I don't know. Okay. And Vincent Company, how, how is he? What's the, the situation there? He's much better. But for tomorrow's not able. OK, thank you. You're very welcome. Hi, Pep. Ian Bello, ISN TV. Last season, Crystal Palace ended a very, very long winning run for you, but it wasn't a surprise for you, and you warned that that, would, that could happen. Yeah. What is it about Palace that makes it so difficult for them to break down? It's simple. The quality of the players they have. So when you see Towson, you see Specialist Saha, you see Meyer, you play uh, MacArthur, Milo Jovevich, and all the players have quality. An incredible experienced manager. He set a perfect 4 4 2, 4 5 1, the movement, defensive movement. I saw today the game against Chelsea. It's so so difficult, so complicated to, to attack them. So, uh, the reason why it was like this. So, of course, last season happened after 
just for statistics. When you win 18 games in a row for statistics, once you have to draw, you have to lose the game. So that's, that is pretty normal. And it happened in that game. We were lucky because uh, we played decent the first half, but the second half they were much better. In the last minute, they missed a penalty. So, but when the people say, well, Crystal Palace, they know it's, we have the warning, it's because the quality of they have. So, um, we have, uh, they, they know exactly what they have to do. I'm not talking about the results, so maybe the people expect get more, more better results than they got so far. But then every game they have a, it's one of the things you create more chances and winning there. So it's complicated. And tomorrow it's going to happen like this if we are not completely focused.